Hi there, welcome in another video of Ansible series. Today we're going to learn about conditionals. Conditionals can be very useful when you have a lot of machines that you manage and you want to execute certain tasks only on machines that meet specific criteria. So what you can see here is a very basic Ansible playbook that installs Nginx if only if certain conditions are met. And we have a task that install Nginx basically and to do that, we are using the package module and we're setting two parameters, name to Nginx and state to present. And to implement a conditional in Ansible, uh, we use the when keyword. And what we have here is a list of two conditions that all have to be evaluated to true in order for our task to be run successfully. So only if Ansible distribution equals to CentOS and major version equals to 8, this, ta this task will be run successfully. So um, please note that we don't have to, when we use the when keyword, we don't have to put these variables around or we don't have to uh, enclose these variables with uh, double curly braces because this is already implicitly passed. So you don't have to do it. You don't have to do this. Uh, what you can see below here is another version of using these conditions using the uh, logical AND keyword, uh, AND operator. Uh, this would basically mean the same, it's just another format. And let's now go to another type of conditionals that we can implement in our uh, uh, in Ansible. And this is mathematical operators. And this playbook is actually very similar to the one I've just showed you, but instead of um, checking version and distribution, we are looping through available mounts on our remote machine and only if the mount is set to root path and if available um, size is greater than 10 gigabytes, only then this task will be run successfully. So uh, we have one example of math mathematical operator here and this is greater than sign we could use uh, other operators as well uh, here we have just a basic string comparison so let me quickly go back to our um, okay I, I lost my mouse for a second let me quickly go back to my uh, to the first playbook and here what it's called is string comparison so we're basically comparing strings and uh, and values discovered from facts gathered on the remote machine uh, to certain values. And here we have this mathematical operator and string comparison as well. So let me quickly show you uh, in which format we can get these Ansible mounts uh, from, our, uh, from our remote machine. In order to do that, I'm gonna go to my terminal and we're gonna mm, run the setup module on our against our node1.lab.com machine but this time you're gonna use the filter parameter so uh, the filter parameter is used when we want to filter out certain subsections of, of facts so we want to filter ansible mounts and this should return only information about available mounts on our remote machines i just want to show you the format and why we can loop through this okay so as you can see, we have the subsection here, Ansible mounts, and this is uh, in a list format. So we have a list of dictionaries, and each dictionary is information about available mounts. So uh, as you can see, we have here available uh, block, size, uh, total, uh, use, all this information, the mount point, and that's why we can look through this, because this is basically a list. Okay, so let me now go back to our playbook and to loop. As you could see in the previous we videos, we used the loop uh, keyword. And what we're checking here is basically, uh, we're checking if the mount is set to uh, root path and if, as I mentioned already, if the available size is greater than 10 gigabytes. Only if these two conditions are met, we'll be able to run this task su successfully. Uh, so let me now go quickly to another type of conditionals that we can do on our remote machine, and that is, um, these are booleans. 
And what we have here is a simple variable that I've defined and I've set it to true. And what we're saying is install Nginx only if this valuable uh, if this variable evaluates to true. So we can negate this as well. And we can negate this with not uh, keyword or word. And just remember that if you use something like yes on one or true instead of uh, capitalized true or false for your variables or booleans, uh, just remember to use the bool filter in order for Ansible to correctly interpret what you mean. And before we go to our terminal to present some playbooks, let's, let me show you the last thing that I think is uh, quite important when we're talking about conditionals. And these are um, defined tests that we can use in Ansible. So what we have here is um, we define again our variable and we set it to true. It's web server, we set it to true. And we, we want to install Nginx only if this variable is defined. So we can do that thanks to Jinjas2 templating language that we can um, that um, we can use in Python. And now that we know some basics of conditionals that we can use on Ansible, let me go to the terminal. And I'm gonna clear the screen here. And we're gonna write a simple playbook. So let's use vim and we're gonna use playbooks directory, we're gonna call it conditionals. And in this playbook, what we're gonna do is gather information about current boot time from our remote machine. And we want to, let's say we want to reboot the machine only if the boot time is grand, greater than certain value. So this way we'll be able to do some mathem mathematical operators. And at the end as well, we're going to use some string comparison and booleans operators to take some actions on our remote machine. So as always, we start our playbook with three dashes and we're going to specify our post pattern here. And let me right at the beginning define our variable is web server, as we could see in our example. We're going to set it to true and down here below, we're going to specify some tasks. So we're going to name it gather info about last boot time. And to do that, we're going to use the shell module and CMD parameter. Here we're going to cut the information included in uptime file. And I'm going to show you what this file contains in a second. But before I do, before I do that, uh, let me pipe this into AWK tool and here we're interested basically we're interested in the first text value in this file. Okay, so let me close this and before I show you, let me run. Okay, I forgot about the double quotes. Let's register the output of this command into a variable called uptime. Okay, so let me save this and exit, and I'm gonna quickly cut this um, product uptime file. And we are interested in this information here, so that's why we are using AWK tool to grab this information here. The first value separated by, uh, by space. Okay, so let me go to our playbook, and now we're gonna, uh, let's say, we're gonna use the back module uh, to print out this information. So let's say the machine has been up for, and here we're gonna use uptime standard out key from our register variable. And down below here, we're gonna set a fact. So to do that, we're gonna use the fact module, set fact module, and we're gonna call it we're going to call it uptime in sec. And what we're doing, we're basically taking the value of this uh, uptime registered variable and we're saving this into uptime in sec. So I'm going to do something like this uptime in sec. And I think, I'm not sure, but I might 
mess up with indentation here. The spaces. This is correct. And here, this is correct. No, this was wrong here. All right. So I fix that quickly and let me create another playbook, uh, another task. Sorry. And we're gonna use the back module to print out this information. So uptime insect to just see if that works fine. And here we're gonna place our key task. And we're gonna call it reboot machine if uptime greater than one day. Okay, so to do that, we can use the reboot module. And here, basically, we're gonna implement our conditional. So to do that, we're gonna use the when keyword. And what we're saying is reboot this machine only if uptime, only when uptime in sex, so in the value of this variable, but please remember that, um, or please know that the value in this variable is in string format. So we have to, before we can do any mathematical uh, compar uh, operator operations on that, we have to cast this to integer. So um, we can do that using, you know, int keyword and the pipe. And now we want to check if it's greater than 84,000. That would be equivalent to one day. This is in seconds. So um, down below here, we can use some other tasks that we could see already in our Sublime Text Editor. So let's call it install nginx. And we're gonna use the package module to do that. And here we're gonna specify the name of our package we want to install and the state. So we're gonna set it to present and we're gonna apply our uh, when keyword and let's specify a few conditions. So let's say, let me actually copy that. I'm gonna switch back. So I'm gonna grab these two conditions here. I'm gonna paste this in our, in our playbook here, in our terminal. Okay, let's, let's fix this indentation here and we're gonna add another condition here. Now that we have our Boolean expression is web server. So the variable that we defined here. So only if these two, uh, only if these three variables are evaluated to true, this install nginx task will be run successfully. So let me see if we have everything right. Let me add three dots at the end of our playbook and we should be ready to go. Okay, so let me save and exit out of this. And now we are simply going to run this playbook. So Ansible playbook, playbooks conditionals, and let's see what, what happens. So first of all, fax gathering takes place and the reboot machine task is skipped and installation of Nginx has been successful. Why the reboot has been skipped? Basically, because the uh, uptime is uh, lower than uh, 84,000 seconds. Uh, and the reason for that is because I've just booted up this machine in order to record this video. So uh, as you can see here, the task has been skipped, but installation of Nginx has been successful since all these three conditions have been evaluated to true. So uh, that would be it for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, questions, let me know in the comment section and take care. Bye bye.